this took a moment to sit up set up um let's see what time is it can i swipe down can i swipe down i can't swipe down when i'm in this mode okay that's good to know um i wanted to post today but i did not like the video i had filmed because i did this weird thing where i filmed back to back and i didn't like it i have a fork because i'm going to do a move bang and I wanted to talk to you guys, and that's what my original video was, was me talking to you while eating breakfast. But it was boring and slow, and I ran out of things to talk about. And it was just awkward, a lot of awkward silence, and I couldn't edit it right. So I decided to redo it. But with a twist, I'm doing it in my car. Not my car, it's actually my brother's car. But, you know. Ho's gotta get to work. I actually have to go to work after this. Um, so I went by from Narrow Bread and I got myself a strawberry, it's supposed to be a strawberry poppy seed walnut salad with chicken. I took out the poppy seeds because I don't like them, they get stuck in my teeth really easily. Um, so that brings me to my next thing. People in my last video, a couple of my friends who watched it were concerned about my diet. My diet was not the reason my teeth got so bad, it was lack of brushing. By the way, because it's like 90 degrees, I have to have my windows down. So if there's a lot of background noise, deal with it. Um, right? It's not, it wasn't really my diet, because I'm not eating anything different than my family, really. Like, my breakfasts and my lunches and dinners are all about the same as them, right? It was the amount of brushing. Slug bug blue. Um, comment down below if you play that game. We don't actually hit each other in my family. We just keep track of who has the most. I'm up by three today now. Um, yeah. So, let's pop into this. I also have a sandwich with avocado. Oh, I had avocado added to this. Let's see if they actually did it. Oh, they did. Cool. Pop my lid there. I am an idiot and didn't get myself anything to drink, but that's fine. I have water in my bag. I also have my toothbrush and toothpaste with me. I have a travel thing of toothpaste. I'm not just carrying a giant tube of toothpaste with me, I promise. Something I've noticed, there's gonna be a giant school bus that goes by, it's super loud. Um, something that I noticed, hi school bus. Um, about travel size toothpaste versus normal toothpaste is the caps. All of the travel toothpaste we have, when we have like four different brands, all have twist tops. And then our big tubes have snap tops. And I think I like that, because that way it can't snap open in my bag and get too paste out on everything. Panera Bread is supposed to be healthy food, and it is healthy, it's just all fresh, right? My concern though is, is the price. It was $7 for a salad, right? Now don't get me wrong, I can't buy the ingredients for $7. But, I can buy all the ingredients for like 30 and get like 5 salads. Right? So. Um, something else I wanted to talk about is one of my goals. So one of my goals is to start posting, oh, there's blueberries. I'm not a big fan of blueberries or blackberries. Really not a fan of berries altogether. I like strawberries, but strawberries aren't actually berries. And I like grapes, and grapes are berries. Anyways, one of my goals is to start posting twice a week on my YouTube channel, right? And I used to do that fairly often before my dad passed and a little bit after he passed because it was easy because I would just do it Wednesdays and Saturdays. Saturdays I didn't have school, and Wednesdays I had a club, right? And I could honestly sit there, goof off, goof around, and write an entire, like, video idea, right? And have my friends, like, help me. And it was fun and enjoyable, right? And then I would get home and post. Or film and post, right? That's when I was still on my laptop camera and not on my phone or, uh... I have an actual camera, if you're new to this channel. I just can't figure out how to edit on an actual computer because you have to buy editing software and it is not worth it. It honestly isn't. Yep. 
So, for those people going, where are you parked? I'm not parked in the front of our parking lot. I was actually going to go to Target because there's Starbucks in there and I'm going to get some coffee. And then I decided last minute not to. Right? So, I'm here. I parked out really far away from everybody so we shouldn't hear like... I made a mistake. I should have parked towards the center. But, like, on the back side of the building. So that I'm away from the main road and I'm away from cars. You live and you learn. If I ever do this again, I know where to park now. I Actually, next time I'm probably parked in the shade. Like, I get that there's trees. But they're not causing a lot of shade. There is a nice breeze, though. Right? I'm going to post twice a day. Not twice a day. Twice a week. Um. And... I feel like I have tons of ideas. I'm just really bad at... I can film super easily and make videos that I love and that are high energy when I'm with my normal camera. On my phone, because I have to hold it or sit a certain way or something, it kind of just drains me because I'm more focused on if I'm in frame than if people are enjoying it. Because in frame, I can just sit in my computer chair and sit my camera where it needs to be, right? And... I, for those of you who don't know, when I do that, I set a book on either side of the, like, chair on the floor. Sorry, weird piece of chicken landed on me. Um, on the floor, and if I don't roll or step out of that, like, book, I'm still in frame. So it's easy, but with my phone, I have to sit perfectly centered and all that, and uh, kind of awful. Um, that was the wrong cut to chew that on. This side is still really sore. I get my f tooth fixed tomorrow. I get my replacement tooth fixed tomorrow. They're going to do x-rays and cleanings. And I'm going to get the speech about flossing. No, that's coming. For those of you who don't know this. Avocado and strawberry are really good together. It is a little... Like... The first time I tried it, the texture was like, mm, I don't really like that, right? Because it was like, it was like trying to be smoothie texture without being smoothie, right? Because I still had to chew it. Oh, it's good. Oh, there's pineapple in this. I didn't realize. I should probably look at the ingredients list of when I buy salads. Right. Other than taking poppy seeds out of this, I didn't really look. I mean, I added the avocado. But other than that, it was like, eh, whatever I was in here, I'll just deal with it. I'm glad that I already have one food allergy. I'm allergic to chocolate for those of you who don't know. Um, that is the centerpiece of a pineapple, and I refuse to eat it because it's going to be hard, and I still have teeth to worry about. Um... I have really soft teeth, and my dentist said that I will always have to be concerned about eating things that are hard, and eating things that have like a lot of sugar in them. Strawberries have a lot of sugar in them, but we consider them healthy because they're natural. Right? just gave me a weird look because I think they realized I'm talking to myself yes I am in fact filming a lovely video thank you um sorry there's a nice car over there um So when you post on YouTube straight from your gallery, you can't add tags. You can add a description, but you can't add tags. So I've started, so I realized with the editing app that when I share from there, 
I can add tags. So I'm going to start doing that even if I don't need to edit. Because like my mukbangs, like this type of video, I don't really edit them. Um, I tried to edit that other one because it was like 50 minutes. And 30 minutes is like my cutoff for videos on how long they should be. Because personally, depending on the YouTuber, that's about how long of a video I can handle before I get bored. Unless it is a certain topic that I really, really love. Right? So, say D David Dobrik was to post like an hour long vlog. I would watch every single fucking second of that. But if Jason Nash was to, I'd probably only watch about 15 minutes of it. So, it's just things like that. N no hate to either of them. Right? Lots of love. I just, I can't. I stopped liking Jason's vlogs when they all became Tris centered because he changed the style of his vlogs and he changed the way he films and who he films with and I don't just mean like adding Trish into certain sketches and stuff but like he doesn't really film with a lot of other people now and it's kind of bothersome. I, do his kids even exist anymore? There's my tea for the day for you on that. Um, I just had two older women stare at me and then when they realized I was filming, they gave me bad looks. Like, what am I doing? I'm talking to my phone in my car. What am I doing wrong? I'm not doing anything illegal. Right? I'm literally sitting in my car in a parking lot eating food, talking to my phone. Ow. I just popped my tooth. Um... To save that tooth. The one with the really bad cavity that I was talking about. Um, I feel like the hole is too close to the root, right? Like they could fill, they, they could kill the cavity and fill it in, right? But I think that if they do that, I'm just gonna end up getting a cavity in that tooth within like a year, and they're gonna end up pulling it anyways. Um, part of my cavities, they can't fill them in, but they can kill them with, a, like, this weird mouthwash thing. Um, to, like, help them. And it's because they're in between the teeth. Because, uh, flossing. I literally don't floss enough. The... Lettuce to other ingredient ratio is really off in the salad and it kind of upsets me because it's like half lettuce and then there's like a little bit of all the other ingredients and that's not how that should be. It should be like a quarter lettuce with a little bit of all the other ingredients but like more. What are you looking at? Um, yeah. There was a spider in here earlier. I killed it with a water bottle. No idea what that is, but I'm not eating it. Like, it doesn't look like any of the vegetables that should be in here, unless it's like the center of the lettuce. Which, by the way, why don't restaurants core their fruits and vegetables properly? Like, I have ended up, I've gotten apple slices from restaurants, and they don't take the seeds out. Like, the whole reason I order apple slices is so I don't have to do with the core.
done with my salad. So I think that, just so you guys can see it, I'm going to eat my sandwich. Because once I hit nothing but a bed of salad, like, not salad, a bed of lettuce, I usually stop eating my salads because, um, don't get me wrong, I like lettuce, but lettuce by itself kind of just tastes bad. So, um, I got a half sandwich. It kind of, my bag tipped over and a lot of the things fell, but because it was all, like, wrapped, I'm not concerned. So, it is a turkey, bacon, avocado, tomato, lettuce on white bread because I was looking at the breads as they were pulling them out and I didn't like any of them the way they looked so I got white bread just because like yes they make their fresh bread but um I didn't want random bread okay Okay, same turkey that was in the salad. It's good. This one's a little bit more moist though. That one's like dried out. But it has like the same seasoning and stuff. Oh, this thing is falling apart. a little bit bigger bite than I should have taken. So, if any of you work at Panarin, can you tell me why you guys don't smash your avocado and you just slice it? For your salads, it's fine. Right? But for your sandwiches, it's like, it just ends up falling off. I can bring the container to me, but the sandwich I have to eat over the thing. I only have to eat over the thing because I have work after this. I have my toothbrush with me, so I can just brush my teeth when I get to the work and just wash it in the my work's bathroom. Right? I have a toothbrush holder, like portable thing. Dollar Tree. Just go to Dollar Tree and get them. I'm not thirsty, I ate my water. Um, I just realized the last two minutes of that was you guys watching me shove a sandwich in my fish. But I think that's part of one of the most enjoyable parts of a milk fan for me is watching them eat and watching them enjoy their food. Alright, I like the talking, I like the topics, I like when it sounds like they're like having a conversation with the audience and that's not something I've mastered yet but something I want to get better at also another goal on my YouTube channel I made realistic goals right and I made realistic standards for myself so that I'm not like beating myself up when my YouTube channel needs a break or when I need a break from my YouTube channel 
right? So, like, my standard is once a week. My goal is two, right? My standard for my videos is longer than five. My goal is at least 15. Right? And I think that's something a lot of people who do goal setting need to look at is if your goals are realistic, but what is the standard for if you need to take a step back? Traffic is picked up, but I don't know why. Lunch rush should be over. So unless this is everybody going back to work. That was weird. Right, because I went during lunch rush. I went at 12.30. Mm. I have napkins. But... Until I'm done eating the thing, I don't see the point because it, it, it's just going to continue to be messy. There's no meat left on this. It's just bread and avocado and the veggie part. Right? Yeah, there's no meat left on this. Did any oh meat did fall. Okay, so I'm gonna give I just shot this one really good bite. And then I'm gonna And that thing just completely fell apart because the bread got super soggy towards the end. Um I have a baguette. super good and then I have chips. I'm actually probably going to save the chips for another day. Um, my baguette I'm probably going to wrap up in one of the napkins they gave me. And then uh, eat it on my break at work. So napkins. How many napkins did they give me? Three. Perfect. was a lady there and I got skipped because she had her windows down. Alright, I've got to go to work now. Bye guys!